Michelle and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a review on the Rimmel London Sexy Curves Waterproof Mascara. And this was requested by XX Lemon Girl XX and a couple of you YouTubers, my subscribers, requested it as well. So here I am talking about it. It says it's supposed to give you 70% curlier lashes. Now, I found that to be somewhat true. The They have a triple, let me open it up here. It looks like this, again, just in case. Okay, looks like this. Just so you can see it on there. My light is like focusing it on it. Okay, now this one has a triple pump. Looks like this. I found the idea of the triple pump great as far as like because it's lengthening and because it kind of has a separation in between the pumps, which allows you to go like inward a little bit and then outward and separate your lashes. It did separate mine good. The only thing I found the bristles to be just a little like harder. I thought they would be like a lot softer like the lash blast, but it's not bad. It's not a bad mascara. It gave me a medium, kind of like a medium size uh, curl to it. And it did extend it out. You know, it did lengthen it so a little bit. Um, it's not my fave. I still like the CoverGirl Lash Blast Waterproof Mascara. But if you want to, you know, give and take, it depends what you want. If you want volume and like huge eyelashes when you're going out swimming then I would go with the cover girl if you're more like me where you want it to look more natural and not you know just a little curl you're out in the beach I would go with the sexy curl sexy curves I'm sorry Rimmel London's waterproof mascara as far as the consistency it wasn't heavy didn't feel heavy um, I was able to take it out without any problem with my eye makeup remover so I found that to be great because you don't want to have like waterproof mascara then when you use your eye makeup remover then take it out. It did not come off. I went to the lake with my friend and it did not come off. So I found that to be good, which you don't want to have black spots everywhere and be like, oh my God, then everybody's like looking at you like, what is she wearing makeup, you know? <laughs> so you want it to look very natural, especially when you're out in the beach or the lake and this was good. It was pretty, pretty good. So I would recommend getting it. Um, if you just want that natural beachy look, this would be the one that I would go for. Now, if I'm going to be swimming, let's say, at, at a pool or like a beach territory and I'm kind of like dressed up. But if you're just going to go out with your friends and kind of have a good time, this one, it's the way to go. So I picked mine up at... Target. The only thing bad I have to say about this one was that in the packaging, you know, because they zoom in on the bristles, it makes the bristles look like they're a lot bigger when the bristles are like this small. They work, but they're not as big. I wish it would have been as big as, I mean, a little bigger. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be as big as this, but a little bigger than this. Um, other than that, I, I'm okay with it. I'm satisfied with it. I picked it up at Target for about, I think it was like 6 or $7, so that wasn't bad. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think at the bottom, if you've tried it and you haven't tried it, or if you're going to go pick it up and uh, post a video response to this, if you picked it up and then want to talk about it. Um, also check out my blog at shellylicious1.blogspot.com and I'll be posting some pictures of the products now on my blog as well. And stay tuned because there's a lot of great things to come in my blog as well. Love you. Bye.